Hey everyone, it's Vicki from Messy Table Studio here with another flip of signatures for that color book I'm making. Um, as I mentioned in a previous video, purple is two and they're not exactly the same size, but it's the way it is. Um, so let's do the first one. There are shades of purple, eggplant, lavender, you know, in that, that realm. So the first thing is I took a vellum envelope that I had purposed for something else and then decided that I need to use it. So it's empty, but I got these great butterflies that a friend gave to me, so I glued the butterfly on the front. I had some scrap material that I had dyed, and it kind of went with the butterfly, and I just said, eh, I'm going to glue it on there, so I did. This is an envelope from scrapbook paper, just a random piece. Uh, let's see, is there anything in here? I can't remember if I put anything in there. Oh, it's empty. All right, so that's just an envelope waiting for some kind of goodie to go in. And again, I um, stenciled off cuts of coffee dyed paper and then glued them, sewed them, and then glued them on the edges of the pages. I think that helps with wear and tear on the pages. This is uh, a sunflower stencil from my friend Carla at What If NC. And then this, I use, I, I made this and never used it for what I was going to use it for. So I decided that I needed to do something with it. So what I did was I glued it in here and made it a pocket. And it actually is a pocket. And then um, I used a belly band on it. Here is a cute little library card that came from scrapbook paper. And I decided that that needed to go in there. Then again with the, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I like that stampy thing I bought. Then this is Rick Rack, I mean Rick Rack, this is uh, pinking sheer cut material. You can see the, the, where I cut it. And then just did the word flower on a piece of random coffee dyed paper. No big deal. And stuck it in here in the belly band. Then I had this number six. I was going to use it for something else and I thought, eh, let me just put it in there. Okie doke. So this one has the crisscrossed paper. Um, I sewed and then I glued. So this this one contains two pieces of, um, well actually equals one, that I dyed of a do paper doily that I hadn't used. I coffee dyed and then I did purple on it. This is a journaling card. Then there's a bookmark. You've seen this before. I used this in the pink book. I love these stamps. So that's in there like that. And then since because I didn't glue it completely flat on the back, I still have an extra pocket back here. Here's some of that paper that was used um, in the pink. I did it in pink and then sewed it and then glued it over the edge. This is a scrap for the purple. And this is another one of those things from Camellia Craft Designs where you slide this over and you've got a journaling place here. I just thought they were so clever. I made tons of these things. And then didn't use them, so I thought, ah, that's it. It's got to go in here. Basically, these signatures were made to use up stuff. God. Sorry about the dogs. I swear it's Murphy's Law. A day I record, the phone has rung three times. The dog started barking at who knows what, and a meat salesman comes to the door today. We really got to put a sign on the door. No solicitors. We live out in the country. Seriously. They must be having a slow day. <laughs> okay, so that's this paper on page. All right, then I made... The, I had leftover magnets, and you need to be patient with glue because it tried to glue itself to the other other one and I had to rip it apart and kind of messed it up a little bit. So so this is a pocket inside. Ta-da. And then I don't glue it all the way flat on. I just glue the three sides. And then there's another little journal thing made of just again little scrap strips of paper from packaging of some sort. I don't even know what it was from. And there is a flower that I drew and just um 
I made it a sticker so it's just on random scrapbook paper. And this is one of those leftover prints that I had from Flickr and I just browned it around the edges, sewed it, and glued it on. Did I sew it? Oh, that's one of the ones that's not sewed. Okay. All right, this is one of those scrap strips that I made of scrap things, and then you stamp all over it. These are so much fun to make, and they use up a lot of little scraps that you don't have quite enough to make. It's like too big for one thing and too small for something else, and this is the perfect way to use them up. Then I took, again, off cuts, did some asymmetric writing, glued on fake postage, and this is coffee dyed recipe from past customers. I just love doing this. I think these are so much fun. They're fake. You put something in them. Here's another one. It's a long skinny one. More cynic writing. It's a very shallow envelope. But it was fun. Then there's this one, which was, again, it was just um, jelly printed paper. And I cut, as you can see, I didn't even like cut the edges and I cut I, this ripped off. And this, I don't care. It's just a filler to go in the belly band. And then here's a little paper thing again. This is just random stuff I put together and it's coffee dyed paper on both sides of it. And it, I learned how to do this from Corey Dahman. And the key to make this thing super flat, well, first thing is don't throw a button on the top, but you know. The next thing is to half your paper and sew one half on one side, one half on the other, and it makes it lay flat as opposed to doing signatures and then using like a pamphlet stitch. So it makes it very flat. Okay, let's see. I'm looking on my ring camera while I'm talking to make sure nobody else is gonna come to the door. <laughs> my lucky day. All right, let's see what's the next page. All right, so the next one is a jelly print I wanted to use up. This is just a card that had a saying on it, and I took little scraps and then glued them, you know, off centers. Put that in there. Then leftover paper. I really love this paper, and I love this jelly print, and I can't throw it away, so I just put it in there. Bookmark or a tag, whatever you want to call it. And then this is one of those um, side, what do you call it? It's a side pocket paper clip. I think I got this from Corey Dahman too. And then inside it was just a tag that doesn't really have, it just has scraps of paper on it, it's nothing else. But it fits nicely in there and then this can hold something on both sides of the page if you want to put it in. Or it could look like it's in the pocket when it's really not. There you go, there's that. And then this last part is one of those double-sided paper clips that's holding in a vellum envelope where I printed off, I drew the little flowers, then I printed them off onto vellum, and then I hand colored all these flowers, then I scanned it again so I don't have to hand color them again. <laughs> and this is another iCAD from a while back. And it's just tucked under here. There's nothing really glued to the page except for this side piece here. And the back is a pocket with a, uh, it's a pocket that was sewn into a pocket. I just glued it on there. And this was uh, one of my stencils that you can find either at a Messy Table Studio Etsy store or you can find it at What If NC. These are these were made, this was made in 2018, May of 2018, when I did some doodles, and then I did the uh, photo paper doodles, and then cut them out and glued them on here. Made a tab on this. This is some kind of a poem that came out of a, a magazine. I doodled on it, glued some paper on it, sewed around the edge, gave it a tab. tab. That's it. I mean, this is not, these, this is not, anything really super complicated. It's a lot of moving parts, but that's it. Okay, before my card runs out, this is the first signature. This, the second one will be in just one second. 
Okay, so this is the next day after I did part one. For some reason, my uh, memory card for the camera is not working the way it's supposed to, so I had to order a new card. And I'm waiting for that to come, and I'm praying this will work. <laughs> so this is part two of the other one. Um, like I said, this was... I just could not make that a, a signature because it's just, one's too fat and the other one's really skinny. And poof. All right, so um, I saw these paint trays in a magazine and then I saw another thing of a display of paintbrushes. So I decided I needed to put this in here and then put the paintbrush with it. And then I just wrote on here, put color in your life and, you know, gussied it up. It's a little busy, but it still makes me happy. All right, this, this is just problematic. Yeah, that's the word, problematic. Um, I made a pocket here and then decided that for some silly reason that I was going to glue this down and then this is an envelope. It's a shallow envelope. I don't know why I did that, but I put the lace on it. So not in my wheelhouse. Then I made these little things and never did really know what to do with them. So I just put them in here and it kind of keeps the flap down. And it needs more oomph, but I guess it's still a work in progress. One day I'll wake up and go, oh, I have the solution. Let's hope it's soon. Um, Okay, so this is another iCAD, and it's underneath a corner piece that that um, I did out of paper. This paper here. Then I put a little random, two little random squares together to make a tab on the top, and there is a um, paper clip something on the other side that's holding all this together. Wait, oops. Then this is a little envelope. That, see, this is why you need tabs on the ends of these things, is because you can't get your stuff out of here. Oh, I don't know if I'll be able to get it out now. <laughs> That's so silly. See, this is why I like the tabs. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get it out. For Pete's sake. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. This is just... <laughs> Why don't these tweezers work? Oh, it's because I didn't get them in there. These are not tweezers that were meant to... <laughs> these were not tweezers that were meant to grab stuff. <laughs> Alright, so let's see if we can try a ruler. <laughs> this is just crazy. Um... These do not work well like this. I don't know how to get this out of here without ruining it. Okay, so this is why you put tabs on the tops of your creations because they get stuck. Good Lord. <laughs> okay. All right, so this is not going back in there. Is there a pocket? Behind? Yeah, okay. So this is... um. A matchbook that I learned how to do from might have been Cory Dahman, I'm not really sure. This came in some kind of a kit of ephemera. You flip it open and it's not matches in there, it's um, paper. Super simple to make and uh, as much as I hate putting staples in my work, this required a staple and it, it worked out really well. This is just all leftovers. There's nothing, I didn't create anything to make this. It was just all leftover things. Let's not put that back in that pocket like a goober. We'll have to put a tab on the top, on the back of this. It won't affect the opening or anything. So I'll put a tab on it so that next time I want to put it in something, I don't lose it and have to dig it out with, you know, surgical implements. <laughs> a silly thing. Alright, so that went here. 
I think this might have been from another pack. I don't even know where this came from. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. I know it didn't go in there because it's too wide. Alrighty then. Let's turn the page. <laughs> Holy cow. Alright, on the other side, over this corner piece with the paper clip on it. The corner piece is glued just right on the edges there. But the paper clip is there to hold the little tiny envelope again with the little piece across where you just tuck it in there and it holds it shut and then there's another envelope made out of leftover paper this is an envelope this is a little writing thing so there you go it's just a, a rectangular piece of um, paper folded it in the top and then rolled up to the bottom that's it I mean it's nothing too complicated because I don't do complicated Evidently, maybe that's not true. <laughs> maybe this came in there. Oh, yeah, there's the paintbrushes that were part of that set. Here's paper that I love, this paper. And I made the pocket expandable. And I think maybe that's where this came from, although I can't be sure because I don't remember. <laughs> it is uh, 3.45 in the morning. I tried to record this yesterday, and there's just too much going on. Uh, scrapbook paper. That was just a scrap. I sewed it, glued it, and then I made a little um, little card out of this, except for, you know, it was upside down. <laughs> and I wrote on there, grow please. Because that's how I was feeling about the fall garden we just planted. This is just part of the same stuff that this is. Came off a of flicker, they were left over. Just glued them on some leftover scrapbook paper, cardstock. Yep, that's cardstock. Sewed this on. I dyed this. This was a lot of fun dyeing these things. I don't really know how to use lace because I'm. It's not my thing. But I thought it looked really cool once I put it in there. Oh, that's where it came from. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with my head today. Okay, look. Wow. <laughs> So these were leftover jelly prints. Just glued them on. There was a solid, there's a solid piece of jelly print on the page. Um, cut these, sewed them, and then glued them on there. Then found these two things as part of, uh, it was a long series of little pictures that were, I think, about an inch by an inch. And I cut those out. And you'll see, let you'll see these again later in another project. So there's I think that's the way these go. Oh my lord. Nothing. Oh, silliness. This one's. That one sticks out even more. Oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> Good grief. Alrighty. And again, leftover paper. Um, these were vellum stickers. And I decided once I put them on there, I didn't like it. So what I did was I just outlined everything in a black pen and that helped it not look so pale and kind of sad. And then I had these left over again. I had somebody gifted me these little colored safety pins. And so I, I had purple pins in all of these guys. And then I was like, well, where am I going to pin them? So I took all the safety pins out and just put the tags in these little envelopes. I mean, little pockets. They're just... You know, little tiny things. I made these for another project. And again, stencil paper over the edge. All right, this is a mess. This is the stamp pocket, and there's two fake stamps in here. I think they came from scrapbook paper. Yep, they did, because there's pink lines on the back. Then these were, oh, and it's ripped. These are layered, a layered pocket where you put... A tri or folded piece on top of folded piece on top of folded piece and you kind of glue them strategically so you make pockets out of them then you sew around it and then you glue it in but you don't glue it down solid because then well maybe you do <laughs> <laughs> never mind just forget everything I just said <laughs> okay 
This was left over from another project. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, this was left over from another project and I decided to use it. Here's those strips that I, saw, I sewed and then glued them on the ends of the um, pages, on the sides of the pages. This is just one of the leftover strips and I liked it and I thought it was a cool pattern. Glued a little um, doodad on there and maybe I won't embarrass myself and I can actually get the um, belly band back on it. Huh. Is that cool? I got it done. All right, then the next thing is just a random tag. And then the next layer was one of those snippet things where you just glue random pieces on here and then just put little random things on there. And I did. It was fun. This was the end of a ticket. And this was postage that I stamped on top of brown cardstock. And then I cut it out. So it makes kind of a, you know, in the old days we used to call those bookmarks. <clears throat> and here's another one of these things from Camellia Craft Designs where it's just a little piece of paper, lined paper glued on something, cardstock, purple cardstock. Then you glue all these pieces down and then you just run the sewing machine all over it because there's the back side. It's a book text of some sort. I don't know what it is. And then it closes, and there's the tab to pull it out. Where was this tab on the other one? And normally, <laughs> here we go, you would not glue this flat down. You would just glue around here like this, and then there'd be another pocket there. But I must have decided, must have decided I didn't need any more pockets. <laughs> All right, so that's the purple ones. Ta-da! Both purples. All right, so the next color will be in another video, and it will be the last color. Oh, thank God. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next color video. Bye.